Hi guys, this is Hazel and welcome to Wellness Today. So for today's vlog, I want to share with you the importance of taking riboflavin or vitamin B2. Vitamin B2 belongs to water-soluble vitamins. And in water-soluble vitamins, there are eight kinds of B vitamins. So vitamin B1, known as thiamine, vitamin B2, riboflavin, vitamin B3, known as niacin, vitamin B5, known as pantothenic acid, vitamin B6, pyridoxine, vitamin B7, which is the biotin, vitamin B9, folate, and vitamin B12, which is the cobalamin. So riboflavin helps the body break down carbohydrates, proteins, and fats to produce energy, and it allows oxygen to be used by the body. Riboflavin is also used for the development and function of the skin, lining of the digestive tract, blood cells, and other vital organs. Here are the sources of riboflavin. Riboflavin is found mostly in meat and fortified foods but also in some nuts and green vegetables, dairy milk, yogurt, cheese, eggs, lean beef and pork, organ meat like beef liver, chicken breast, and salmon. Riboflavin deficiency could result in the improper functioning of adrenal glands, which in turn would result in various conditions such as anemia, chronic fatigue syndrome, and cataract development. Riboflavin deficiency is thought to be a major cause for the fatal condition of preeclampsia in pregnant women. Vitamin B2 deficiency is a significant risk when diet is poor because the human body excretes the vitamin continuously, so it is not stored. A person who has a vitamin B2 deficiency normally lacks other vitamins too. There are two types of riboflavin deficiency. Primary riboflavin deficiency happens when the person's diet is poor in vitamin B2. Secondary riboflavin deficiency happens for another reason. Maybe because the intestines cannot absorb the vitamin properly, or the body cannot use it, or because it is being excreted too rapidly. Riboflavin deficiency is also known as a riboflavinosis. Signs and symptoms of deficiency include cracks at the corners of the mouth, cracked lips, dry skin, inflammation of the lining of the mouth and tongue, mouth ulcers, red lips, sore throat, scrotal dermatitis, fluid in mucous membranes, iron deficiency anemia, eyes may be sensitive to bright light, and they may be itchy, watery, or bloodshot. People who drink excessive amounts of alcohol are at greater risk of vitamin B deficiency. Normally, vitamin B2 is considered safe. An overdose is unlikely as the body can be absorbed up to around 27 mg of riboflavin and it expels any additional amounts in the urine. However, it is important to talk to a physician before taking any supplements, especially as this can interfere with other medications. Supplements can interact with other medication and B2 supplements may impact the effectiveness of some drugs, such as anticholinergic medication and tetracycline. Drugs that may interfere with riboflavin levels in the body include tricyclic antidepressants such as imipramine or tofranil, some antipsychotic drugs such as chlorpromazine or torazine, methotrexate used for cancer and autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, phenytoin or dilantin used to control seizures, probenicid for gout, thiazide diuretics or water pills. How is riboflavin deficiency treated? Usually, treated empirically when the diagnosis is suspected. It is easily treated with foods such as meat, 
fish, and dairy products or with oral preparations of the vitamin. Administration of 5 to 15 mg per day until clinical findings are resolved is usually adequate. Can too much vitamin be too harmful? The primary risk of excess riboflavin is damage to the liver. However, excess riboflavin toxicity is rare. With regards to supplements, even if B2 is a water-soluble vitamin, you should not consume more than the required daily allowance. Riboflavin is best absorbed when taken between meals. People who do not eat a balanced diet every day may benefit from taking a multivitamin and mineral complex. B vitamins may cause urine to have more yellow color than normal, especially if large doses are taken. This is to be expected and is no cause for alarm. Riboflavin plays an important role in cellular energy production in the body. Its role in mitochondrial energy metabolism suggests it may be effective in migraine. Riboflavin, Fiberfew, Magnesium, Coenzyme Q10, and Melatonin are the supplements to be taken and is effective for migraine. Can vitamin B2 cause weight gain? Nope. B vitamins alone won't result in weight gain. Thank you for watching guys. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel Wellness Today by Hazel and hit the notification bell for more updates. Thank you. Bye!